How much would your life change if you knew every single time someone told you a lie? Even if that someone was you. Lies like, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't own a business, and you definitely will never make more than you did in your old corporate job. Get ready to be proactive, passionate, productive, and oh so profitable in a way you never before experienced by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies Show. Now, here is your host of Big Fat Lies, success sorceress, and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Oh my goodness. Yay. Happy Monday. Happy fun day. It's Jennifer Kramer Lewis here. Today we are talking to human design manifestors and those who love them. And how cool is it? You find out that you're a human design manifestor, you find out that your partner or your loved one is a human design manifestor, and you find out they are here to initiate initiate they are the only beings that are here to initiate and so there are some processes uh to initiate via correct channels initiate the correct people and so you're not there trying to blast your message everywhere trying to like siphon off millions from the internet the thing is manifestors if you're not doing you correctly, if you're not initiating and informing correctly, all sorts of crazy stuff can happen. And I don't want that to happen because you are here to create a whole new reality for the people that you are here to create a whole new reality for and with. And so you get to go along for the ride and you also get to initiate people into what they've been asking for. So your products, your services, your new things that you're creating are specific to you. They're your talents, your abilities, the things that come easy to you don't come easy to other people. And so other people are not like you. They do not have your unique experience. And so today, why I want to talk about money and abundance? Well, it's so interesting. I'm in a room for about five minutes and end up in a conversation about money and abundance almost always, almost always. And so notice that for yourself, manifestors and those who love manifestors, what is it that you want to talk about? What is it that you want to initiate people into? Or people come to you and say, hey, can you please give me a new reality with money and abundance? And I do have a completely new reality, a completely new um, perspective on money and abundance. In most cases, people are like, wow, I never thought about it like that. I am very inspired by that. I'm very, um, when I talk to you, I feel better. This is what I hear from people. They're like, wow, I feel better about my ability to go ahead and be me in the universe. And so highly, highly sure that this is sort of what I'm supposed to be doing. And I've been doing some form of this, even back in when I was in banking, when I was in finance, when I was in real estate and investments, people would be like, show up at my office door and say, hey, can I talk to you for five minutes? And, you know, and then they'd be in my office getting a, you know, a business consulting session or a coaching session from me for an hour. And, you know, I was given trainees almost immediately. And so why do I call myself a success sorceress? Well, there's so many different ways of achieving success in your life. There's so many different ways of being deeply satisfied and deeply at peace and just creating an awesome life for yourself. And a lot of them have to do with energy. A lot of them have to do with sorcery, with like how we say our words, um, you know, just like so many different structures that aren't mainstream. And so calling myself a business coach is a bit of a misnomer. People are like, well, you know, what are the KPIs? Show me, uh, you know, 
show me all of the businessy things. Well, I know how to do all of the businessy things. I know how to build your, you know, your projections and, and build in KPIs and build in standard operating procedures for your business and all of that kind of stuff, a business plan for your business, show you where to find your clients and all of those things that a normal business coach does. But it's glaringly obvious to me, glaringly obvious to me what gaps are in your energetic process that need to be addressed. And so sorcery for me is such a delicious word, isn't it? To be a sorceress. And success is such a delicious word. Like your version of success, you guys, is your version of success. It's just yours. Like whether it's a cabin in the woods, you know, in front of a beautiful river and, you know, just so delicious and remote and, you know, like maybe it's like completely off grid and, you know, has a uh, solar and water power and just like, ugh, for me, I'm just like, yes, that's my version of success. And then for other people, it's a Maserati. It's, uh, it's a Louis Vuitton bag. It's, you know, trips to Paris and Milan to go and look at the latest uh, couture fashion and, and buy yourself a new wardrobe every year, like whatever it is. And nobody gets to tell you what success is. You tell you what success is. You tell me what success is. And I can show you what vectors are really important for you so that you can achieve that for yourself. And I will tell you, there's nobody more excited about you achieving your version of success than me. <laughs> I get so jacked, so freaking jacked. I had a client uh, this week who she's been working on this version of success for herself for, I think this concept came out maybe about four years ago. Um where she has this thing that she can develop into a software as a service, like basically a Netflix of her industry, where she charges somebody a licensing fee every month to use this software that she's developed for her industry. And, you know, whether she gets 100 people to pay her a hundred a thousand dollars a month or 200 people to pay her a thousand dollars a month for this service this service is actually saving her end users so many hours and so many headaches that it's so freaking valuable and once it takes off it's about to take off and she happens to be a manifester energy type so she is built to initiate she is built to inform people what they should be doing differently how freaking cool is that? So if you are a manifester and you're listening to this live, I want to see hashtag manifester in the chat. And uh, if you happen to be listening on the replay, I would love to know where you're listening. I would love to know what your main, uh, what I want to say, your main access point for the Big Fat Lies show is so that I know where I can meet you. I would love to have a conversation with you about your life, about your business, about your version of success. So wherever you are, reach out to me. Tell me, uh, tell me your main human design gate. So that would be your top gate on the black side. And I have a resource for you. So whatever number that is, I have a resource for you. And uh, yeah, reach out. Let's have a conversation. I want to know more about you and what success means to you. So today, what are my promises today? How can I help you today? So I would love to talk to you about your manifest your energy? And are you seeking to transform your financial reality? So today, we're going to have an interactive masterclass where we explore the five unexpected ways human design manifestors attract money and abundance. As a manifester, you possess a unique energy that can influence your financial success. However, many manifestors face challenges in attracting money and abundance due to misalignment with their energy type. And in this class today, we're going to address those pain points and offer some valuable insights to help you unlock your true potential and manifest prosperity in your life. So why do I care? Here's the thing, you guys, there are soulless people, completely soulless people who have billions of dollars at their disposal. 
And so my mission is to put the balance of power with people who are conscious. <laughs> people who have a brain, people who have a soul, people who have a mission. And here's the thing, your human design chart shows you what your mission is. It shows you there's four different placements in the sky and those four different placements have a ton of energy with them. And so once you know what those placements are, you can start to direct your life, start to direct your talent, start to direct your prosperity, your wealth, your abundance to come through those channels. And it's really interesting. Like my top channel is the 46 which is really freaking determined and it's really freaking lucky. And so sometimes people are like, oh, Jennifer, she's just lucky. Yeah, I am. But I'm also very, very determined and I'm also willing to do whatever it takes in order to be able to move ahead. And so a lot of people are not willing to do whatever it takes to move ahead. But I'll tell you what my clients are. They will take the courses. They will do the work. They will go to the bottom of the well to find out what it is that they need to be doing in order to achieve that level of success for them. And whether that's an off-grid cabin in the woods like me, uh, or it's a Maserati, it's a Louis Vuitton bag. You can have whatever the heck you want. Whatever is successful for you, whatever is deeply satisfying for you. And for manifestors, the signature is peace. Like you just like, ah, peace. You just feel relaxed. You feel peaceful in what it is that you're creating. There's no chaos because there's peace present. And so then you start to collect all of your data that allows you to have this deep core sense of peace and a Maserati. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for your birthday? I want peace and a Maserati <laughs> and fun, like so much freaking fun. So, so much freaking fun. So what did I promise you today? Well, I would love for you to understand your manifest your energy. Explore how your energy type influences your financial journey and the potential blocks that are holding you back from abundance. I would also love for you to know about your decision making process and learn how to embrace your unique decision making process. I would love for you to be able to communicate correctly and discover how effective communication can attract opportunities, collaborations, and financial growth. I also want to talk about setting boundaries for prosperity. And then if we have time, I'd love to talk about harnessing your manifest your magnetism because it isn't what you think it is. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to talk about that first. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up talking about that first. We got two minutes before the break. So maybe I'm just going to tease it. So this is what I love about manifestors is they have a closed aura. So it's like, what are they doing behind closed doors? And I have a manifestor son and I can tell you, I'm, I'm very adept psychically. I always have been. And I always get information for people uh, and about people. And my son has always attracted attention. And so it hasn't always been like super positive attention because people pay attention to him because he kind of has this, um, what do they call it? What do they call it? Exclusivity. He has this exclusivity in his aura. His aura is closed. And so people wonder about him. He makes people curious about him. And so this magnetism can, you know, in the correct version of it, it can make people so curious about you, make people want to know about you because you are not an open book, not even freaking close to an open book. So if you're trying to be like an open book, then 
that's not correct for you manifestors. It's absolutely not correct for you to be an open book. You need to be doing your stuff behind the scenes. And then when you're ready to open up your launches, then you actually probably need to hire some generators and manifesting generators so that people can feel the aura of what it is that you're going to create, what it is that you're initiating them into, what are you inviting people into? And yeah, so I have a ton to say about this. Uh, we're heading into our first commercial break. After the break, manifestors, I'm going to tell you a bit more about this magnetism that you have and how having a closed aura and not being so open and available is an exclusive way for you to attract wealth and abundance. So please join me after the break. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. This show is called Big Fat Lies. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies, Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners like you from being the bright shining beacons that you came here to be. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Welcome back, you guys. Before the break, we were talking about manifestor magnetism and that in order to be able to have your financial opportunities, you need to recognize that you are not an open book. You are not for everybody. You are 7% of the population and you will have a specific fractal of human beings that you are meant to initiate, meant to inform and let them know this is how life is supposed to go. This is my unique thing that I'm building. And in many cases, manifestors, you are meant to be building a bunch of different things in various stages of progress. They probably will not be in the same industries. Like you may have licensing or um, credentials, professional credentials in one industry. And then you have a hobby in another industry and you're like, oh, I want to build a thing that goes with my hobby. You know, I want to build a specific gadget that goes with my hobby. And then you build it and then people are like, oh my goodness, that's a great gadget. I want to have it. And then maybe you decide that you want to launch this gadget just for, just for fun. And I would say a lot of the things that are available to people on this planet that you may not realize, and this isn't just for manifestors, it's for everybody, that it's not supposed to be so difficult. There's supposed to be a lot of joy, a lot of pleasure in the creation of your life the creation of your financial flows, your wealth and your financial flows. So I'd say the number one really surprising thing 
for wealth and abundance is that if you can hook it up to what's pleasurable for you, what's joyful for you, what you could do every day, all day, then that can be a path to pure abundance for you. And so who's meant to buy those things from you? It's obvious to me in your charts, and I can show you some of the frequencies. Absolutely. And when I say charts, I'm talking about your human design chart, your gene keys chart, your astrology chart. Um, So those are the charts that I use in order to be able to come up with a customized approach for you for business and for your branding and, you know, where your business is going, what energies your business is representing, because your energies are your own personal energies, but your business actually has its own personal energies as well. And so we can pull charts for your business. We can also pull charts for your business partners. If you have a, you know, a partnership or you have a group of people doing business together, you have a group of board members that are doing business together. And, you know, whether you're doing super great or whether you're not doing super great, there's a ton of information that's available to you through these channels. And I would love to be invited to consult. That's one of the things that I am really, really good at is, or I hear I'm good at it from my clients. My clients are having excellent success with my consulting practice. And it's just fun for me. I love it. And I love looking at um, the mechanism of business, you know, because there's a dozen different ways that a specific part of your business can be run. It doesn't actually have to be run by you. It could be run by trainees. It could be run by employees. It could be run by a CFO. Like, it's just so clear to me. And it may not be clear to you that the way that we do business, if we play with it, if we just add a dash of this and we add a dash of that, we can come up with a business mechanism that you don't have to constantly tweak. Doesn't that sound just like so peaceful to not have a business mechanism that you're just like, oh, my goodness, you're under the hood, you know, twisting the knobs and and trying to make it work properly when it probably is already working properly. It just may not be aimed at the right people. It might not be at the right time of year. Like there's just so many different things that I can see when I look at someone's business and ask a bunch of questions and really get down to the brass tacks of like, what is this business here to create? Because if your business has been here for three to five years, which or or more, uh, which is my ideal client, I don't work with brand new businesses. That's not my, my forte. I work with businesses that are existing. And uh, because if your business has been here for three to five years, it does have a niche. It's supposed to be here. And so it's just a matter of getting that mechanism running at optimal speed and making sure manifestors that this business is giving you peace. It's not giving you chaos. The people who are working under your business umbrella is, are giving you peace. They're not giving you chaos. And so if they are giving you chaos, usually that's about time that people reach out to me and they want to have a conversation with me. And I am almost always available, you know, unless I'm somewhere else in the world, uh, upgrading my own skill set, I am available for a conversation with you about what your business is doing. I have a specific uh, discovery process where you leave with some information about your chart, information about the brand that your business wants to be and some red flags and some green flags about your business so that you can start to go and make some changes to your business mechanism, regardless of whether or not you decide that you want to work with me. So that's how I do it. But back to being magnetic and your magnetism. Yeah, not everybody's going to like you. (laughs) And do does everybody need to like you? Absolutely freaking not. At the top level of business, you will have way more people who don't enjoy what it is that you do for a living than people who do enjoy what it is that you do for a living. And being popular, manifestors, is kryptonite. You do not want to be a popular person. You want to be valuable 
to your soul fractal. And that's it, man. You're not for everybody. And so let's look at setting boundaries and mastering the art of setting boundaries to protect your energy. Well, there's one of them. Just knowing that for yourself, like I'm not for everybody and I'm a manifesting generator. Like I have an open and enveloping aura. Like when I walk into a room, I can see people just like manifesting generators and generators. When you walk into a room, you see people go (sighs) in most cases, right? You walk into the room and people just feel better. And I know that for myself, like when I'm where I'm supposed to be, people really, really enjoy me. And where I'm not, when I am not where I'm supposed to be, I can just feel the resistance. People are like, what the fuck are you doing here? And I now give myself permission to just leave, just leave, like regardless of who invited me or, you know, why I'm there specifically or why I think I'm there. If it took me a half an hour to drive there or an hour to drive there, because I live in the country and I wanted to just go see something or do something or experience something. If I get there and, you know, it's, I'm not receiving the correct energy, then I give myself permission to have the boundary that if I'm not enjoying myself, if it's not a pleasure for me, I can freaking go, you know, I don't need to drink a glass of wine to calm myself down or, you know, whatever it is, I can just leave. You know, if I don't feel that reciprocal warmth from where it is that I am, then I can just leave. And the same for you, manifestors, if you were there to initiate and inform and you happen to be in a room where nobody wants to be initiated and informed, then get the hell out of there. Give yourself permission to just get out. And this is one of the things that I notice every single manifester I know does way better if they spend a lot of time outdoors. So, you know, like uh, I know a manifester that is like does extreme mountain biking, like she flies down the side of mountains on her bike, you know, and then another manifester that does this like extreme hiking backwoods you know, walking and climbing and all of this stuff with a giant heavy pack and, you know, as far off grid as possible with her partner. And then um, my son, who's a manifester, he just does so much better when he spends most of his day outside and using his body in a strong way. Like that's the most important for him. And so thinking about that for yourself, manifestors, like what are your personal boundaries for prosperity? Like no, if it doesn't work for you to have these like low cost offerings, like 197, 297, 397 for your products and services, if it just makes you twist your nose, then setting a financial boundary that you'd rather work with one person at a deep, deep level and feel so like generous, have generosity of spirit because they've paid you an investment to work with you, then that's what I would recommend. You know, having financial boundaries includes always having the money in order to be able to pay your day-to-day bills. Like, does it cost you $1,000 a week to be you or $2,000 a week to be you at the top level? Like, that's whatever you want. Going and getting your hair done, going, having a massage, getting your toes done, having organic groceries, you know, having dinners out with your girlfriends or your guy friends, always having money to be able to go on a little getaway if you want or a big getaway if you want. Like knowing that for yourself, having a financial boundary on what it is to be you, what it costs to be you. And so thinking about that manifestors, if you're here to inform and initiate, then it's probably pretty important for you to inform people that this is how much it costs to work with me. And this is, you know, if I'm going to inform you and initiate you into a new reality that works even better for you with your processes, manifestors, if you're going to help people manifest with your manifestor power, then that's a valuable process, isn't it? And so maybe it might be a good idea for you to just feel into how valuable it is 
for people to spend time with you? Like how many people did you inform and initiate last year who actually listened to you, who actually went forward and did the thing and, you know, made thousands of dollars, even maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars with the thing that you developed with them and for them. And then also on the flip side of things, when you inform and initiate people, and you don't charge them for it, then they can't actually move ahead and do it. And then how frustrating is that? How much do you just kind of want to bop them on the nose for not listening to you? (laughs) Oh my goodness, so frustrating. So annoying when people don't listen to your manifestor power and they don't go ahead and manifest the things that they keep telling you that they want. So we're going to talk more about this after the break. I'm so glad that you joined me today. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and this is the Big Fat Lies Show. Join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies, Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners like you from being the bright shining beacons that you came here to be. You want to know what the biggest, fattest lie is in the whole world? Jennifer Kramer Lewis has discovered, after working with hundreds of conscious, heart-centered entrepreneurs, that they believe in the lie that if you work harder, smarter, and faster than everyone else, only then will you be rewarded with success. Jennifer audaciously stakes claim that what is pleasurable for you will always be your direct route to the big bucks. Jennifer knows working this hard is robbing you of your dream life. What would you say if she gave you the keys to the Ferrari called your correct energy? What would change if you had a burnout proof business plan, a juicy switched on energy field calibrated by correct business practices, as well as Jennifer's success sorcery, deep psychic awareness and support. The investment for this process is one six what Jennifer's VIP level clients pay. Why? Jennifer believes that once you have this information, you become limitless. And that's exactly what this planet needs more of. Choose your limitless life and business at 888.jenniferkramerlewis.com. That's 888.jenniferkramerlewis.com. This is Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jenniferkramerlewis.com. I freaking love it when you guys email me and say, oh, well, this is what I learned from your program, or this is what I have questions about, like knowing that you are out there listening, and I'm not just talking into a void, and none of this is valuable to anybody. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes I have my doubts, and hearing from you just fills my heart so full that, you know, just I could create for days and days and days once I hear from you about what it is that you receive received from the program or what it is that you have questions about my aura type is in response I'm here to respond and so super super important for me to be responding to you manifestors so uh, inform me initiate me ask me questions please 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 I super super love that And so before the break, we were talking about, like, do you actually know what it costs you to be you every week at an opulent level? Like, I know for myself, my minimum is $1,000 a week. It costs me to be me. And after that, it's gravy. And so, you know, $2,000 a week, $3,000 a week would be great. You know, then I can start to put some money away towards my off-grid beautiful cabin that I found uh, 
that I would love to build by a river or, you know, some kind of running water and, you know, just like, oh, so fucking good. So good. And we're supposed to have a super pleasurable life. It's not supposed to be like, oh, well, you know, it costs me a thousand dollars to be me at an opulent level. Uh, or 2000 to be me or 2500 to be me at a very opulent level. But, you know, maybe I could try to jam that into 750 a week or, you know, that's including my accommodation and my power bill and my food and all of that kind of stuff. I don't recommend that you try to budget you guys don't just make more money, be more opulent. And uh, that might be a revolutionary point of view. And, you know, you may never have heard that from somebody who's offering financial advice that you just need to make more money. Obviously, you need to be discerning and selective about what you invest your money in. And also, is this going to create a more opulent future for you? Are you investing in your future uh, or are you, you know, patching a leaking boat? You know, these are questions that I will really, really have for you almost immediately when we work together and and to be able to have a look at your financial forecasts. And, and, you know, in many cases, the coaching that people receive, the mentorship that people receive isn't holistic. They actually don't care about your soul. In many cases, they're just looking at your financial bottom line and helping you whip up something that people can buy. Well, maybe. But maybe not. Maybe I actually want it that the thing that people can purchase from you is the exact thing that you're here to offer people has the exact frequency. You know, for me, my cross, like my incarnation cross is all about love. And it's all about the love of the body. And, you know, for me, oh, my goodness, I talk about the body all the time. Like, does your body feel good when you do this? Does your body feel vital when you do this? Do you have a deep sense of, you know, intimacy with your creations, with your financial flows? Like, is it juicy? Are you excited? Is there turn on in what it is that you do for business? Or is it dry? Ugh, no, like I, my clients are people that I want to hug them. Uh, you know, I want to wrap my arms around them. I want to like cheer for them. I want to invite them over for dinner or go over to their house for dinner. Like I, I have a deep sense of intimacy with my ideal clients. And so if I had clients that I wouldn't want to ever share a space with, or I wouldn't want to ever hug, that doesn't actually work for me. It doesn't work for me. So thinking about that for yourself, manifestors, even though you have a closed and repelling aura you probably still want to get hugged <laughs> or by the correct people but being very discerning about that and so you know those circumstances like who are your ideal clients what what I call them the plugins what do they plug in in your chart well one of the plugins in my chart is intimacy It really is. And, you know, what are all the ways of being intimate? Because intimacy isn't just sex. And like sex is like one of the billions of ways of being intimate. And, you know, intimacy is listening. Intimacy is being present. Intimacy is, you know, meeting people's needs. Intimacy is sometimes just being quiet. Like there's so many different ways of having intimacy and in your business, in your life, if those needs aren't being met and you're just trying to have transactional business, like transactional business never has never worked for me, you know, so doing, you know, one-off readings, you know, $97 reading, you know, we get together for a half an hour. I tell you like one thing in your chart, and leave you hanging. That's not me. I will never, ever have a business like that. 
you know, when you have a reading with me, I always leave you with a ton of things to do, a ton of things to explore, a ton of things to think about. And the door is open when you work with me that way. Like you can send me some text messages over the course of a month that we work together and really get to the bottom of some things that you want to change. And then when you come into a mentorship with me, I want it that if I get messages from spirit for you, messages from your business, messages from your body or your future, that I can text you at 11 o'clock at night. I don't feel like, oh, you know, I'm going to save it up for the next session. I can never do that. So <laughs> I'm just like, I want to be in the moment, in the present moment. And that's in my chart. I have uh, the 20th gate is the now being in the now, being present with people. I have the 13th gate, which is the listener. It's all about listening through the lens of love and helping people create a deeply, deeply peaceful life. Or even if chaos comes in and tries to knock you off, you have so many tools, so, so many tools. And, you know, are able to communicate confidently about your boundaries and uh, communicate confidently about what it is, what kind of business opportunities that you want to have. Super, super important that you start to collect those vectors. So when somebody is talking about the type of business that you want to start collecting, or you are calibrating your business to collect, then you can be like, yes, this is what I do for a living. And then also when somebody asks you like, hey, you know, this is some other thing that I'm thinking about doing that you can back out gracefully because you don't have to be everything for everybody. You never, ever do. As a manifestor energy type, you are meant to work on your thing what you are here to initiate, what you are here to inform people about. You're not here to help people. You're not here to help people. And so communicating that with confidence, communicating that with sort of a joie de vie, like, mm, okay, yeah, I can see how you might want me to help you with that. But you don't ever have to offer to help with people, help people do things that you kind of don't want to do. Yeah, that's so interesting, you guys, like I've really been exploring uh, having a year of being, I call it a year of being helpless. So I'm not helping people, I'm less helping people. I'm helpless. I don't have help for you unless you come to me and your work is the type of work that I really feel like I can uh you know, I can help you catalyze, I can help you have a better communication style, I can help you learn how to inform correctly, to initiate people correctly, you know, to really just go for it in your life and business. So you have a deep abiding sense of peace. And that when peace is available to you that you choose peace, you know, because in some cases, people are so used to solving the problem of chaos, you know, solving the problem of, you know, the shit storm, that they will start to choose to solve problems and be helpful when they can actually be helpless. And that doesn't mean anything, you guys. There are tons of people who are very helpful and they're here to be helpful, but they are not you manifestors. You are here to inform and initiate, not to help. <laughs> you are not the worker bees. The worker bees are the generators and the manifesting generators. And in most cases, the worker bees are the generators. The manifesting generators aren't really here to be worker bees. Um, they can be worker bees, but they're like turbo worker bees. It's like, give me this thing. I'm going to go away. I'm not really going to communicate with you very much about it. And I'm going to bring it back done to my level of done. And so you might not want to have a manifesting generator work on something uh, unless you can trust them deeply, deeply at a soul level, because they will do it to their level of done. And I'm a freaking Virgo. <laughs> So my level of done is pretty spick and span. So I 
only work with people who trust me deeply and will allow me to take away a process or take away a thought process and work on it and bring it back to you in a way that I'm really, really hoping you are able to adopt. And so a lot of the stuff that I do is mindset. I don't actually do work work, if that makes sense. So communicating what it is that you do with confidence and how does that affect your financial growth? Well, galloping off in all directions, trying to be everything to everyone as a manifester, it makes zero sense, you guys. You are not supposed to be everything to everyone. And I know I've said this already, and we're going to say more after the break about not trying to be everything to everybody. And I'm going to go more into your energy type. This is the Big Fat Lies Show. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Thank you so much for joining me. More after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies, Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners like you from being the bright shining beacons that you came here to be. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jenniferkramerlewis.com. Yay, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I feel like I have whiplash. This show has gone by so, so quickly. And I'm so grateful, you guys. I know that there's a million different things that you could listen to on the internet. And you chose to listen to this show today. And yeah, I would say I have a huge place in my heart for manifestors. Having a manifestor son and having manifestor clients, like I, I just really feel like that synergy between a manifester and a manifesting generator is just so, it's delicious. It's delightful. I freaking love it. I just, I feel nourished at a deep level in my soul when I get together with my manifestor clients, with my manifestor son, and, and really get to listen to what it is that they would like to accomplish and and offer them resources like I I was out paddle boarding uh with my manifestor client this week uh and you know we ended up just having a coffee and a cookie after we were paddle boarding and she's like oh my goodness Jennifer even if I'm just sitting with you having a coffee with you you always have some sort of app or you always have some sort of resource or, you know, some sort of podcast that you were listening to or a book that you were reading that would be valuable to me. And I would say that that's one of the things that I do have and I know about myself is I have one, I have 48 in my chart, uh, which is called The Well, and it's also a direct access point to the Akashic Records. And I also have... Uh, the 16 in my chart and the 20 and they're hooked up to one another through the gate uh, uh, in the throat so my 48 talks to my 16 and my 16 
uh, is right beside that 20 channel. And so it's like, what is now? What am I excited about? What resources do I have? And I have just resources all over my chart, all over my chart. And so getting to talk to you, getting to plug you into those resources is just so juicy. I freaking love it. It's like I'm an Italian mom and I've just made you a big plate of pasta and I've got like fresh basil and fresh Parmesan. And, you know, it's just so delicious, so delicious. And business can be like that, you guys, your financial future can be just so delicious where it's always there. It's always plentiful. It's always nourishing. It's always like my mouth is watering thinking about it. It's just like such a visceral experience to have way more financial resources, way more financial abundance than you need. You know, and for those of you who are listening on a podcast platform, I have so many air quotes around the word need. And, you know, I would say that I was very much raised where asking for more than what you need was greedy. And I would say that is not the case. For manifestors, you do need to manifest a large war chest of money so that you can initiate, so you can inform, because there may be a plane ride involved. There may be a product launch involved. There's going to be financial resources. You may have to talk to a lawyer to protect your intellectual property. You may have to hire a mentor or a coach to work with you, to help you, to be your power plant so that you have the energy in order to be able to proceed. Because manifestors, even though you feel like you have energy, you are a non-energy type. So you do not have sacral energy. You do not have access to the sacral energy. And so super important that you surround yourself with conscious generators and manifesting generators so that you have that power plant, that battery pack, that, you know, nuclear fission to be able to do what it is that you came here to do. So whatever that is, whoever you're planning on informing and initiating correctly, and then also to have the power to be consistent in your efforts towards that end goal. Remember, at the beginning of the show, I was telling you my client has been working uh, behind the scenes in her own company, developing this app for her own company, that now she may be launching uh, to offer it to another company, a big company. And uh, she needed to be able to have that digestive process, that, um, that mentorship in order to be able to move forward, that power in order to be able to move forward. And so when our charts plug into other people's charts, these financial opportunities come forward. It's never a mistake that we are attracted to working with people. It's never a mistake that we're attracted to making love with people. Like it's it's very mechanical. You can see it in the charts. It's like just plugging a, you know, um it's plugging in a switchboard. So when I have a relationship with you, when I'm working with you, all of my superpowers will plug into your chart. And then lucky me, all of your superpowers will plug into my chart. And then depending on what your energy type is, we're going to energize each other. I'm going to energize you because I'm a manifesting generator. And so that's a lot of energy going into your life. And so you can start to extrapolate that energy and use it efficiently and effectively in your business mechanism. Like how juicy and delicious is that? So freaking exciting. I just love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. So next week, Monday at three o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I am talking to reflectors, the most rare of the energy types, the most complicated energy type to learn how to run. And um, I do have reflector clients and, you know, have had a lot of different really cool feedback and And um, they've attracted really 
awesome opportunities for themselves when they get to plug into my battery pack. So next week's show is called Five Unexpected Ways That Human Design Reflectors Attract Money and Abundance. And so if you know a reflector, if you are a reflector, if you love a reflector, please invite them. If they go to my link tree, forward slash Jennifer Kramer Lewis, they can find the link to join me live at three o'clock Pacific. And again, thank you so much for showing up today. If any of this has been valuable, please let me know. Send me an email. Send me a DM. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much. See you next week. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live your life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies Show.